you our uh, new product that we are presenting in Plaza. Uh, we call Limehouse 5 or LM5, depending on the business. What we have here basically is if you want to design your lights, maybe you want also to design your user interface, your console. So what we do is a, a small interface that are controlled by OSC. OSC is Open Zone Control, it's a protocol uh, you, know, you all know. And what we have is now a 24 channel console, but well, we can have an RGB working like uh, it's taking a while. Okay, like for example, two songs or RGB. We can also have well, another depend depend on the application. For example, for a bar, if we want to leave this place for the barman, they don't have to touch anything, just RGB. Well, or even for audio, no? Because we have some audio amplifiers that are controlled by DMX. Like we introduced in 2010 here, we have in the in the Innovation Awards illumination of our sailing speaker controlled by DMX. So, well, thanks to this, we can develop a lot of uh, a lot of uh, interfaces. Just you design by yourself. Put the father here. Finally, it's a list of sentences that we translate uh, into the device and send DMX data. The innovative thing here is that. We don't use DMX to Wi-Fi wi uh, to send wireless. It's sending OSC. The Wi-Fi processing is here, and uh, we create a, a, a method to uh, store a scenes, a queues, and queue list inside the product. For example, a way a way simple like this. You will see. For example, if I want to. Uh, change the SCN, we have all the scenes here, okay, if I want to change this scene, just change the values and then push rec, or I can change the stand time or fade time and push rec, just simple as this, no? Uh, as I said, is the, 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 the thing is that we can store the, the DMX data in but also, this product is a compatible, fully compatible ARNET node. So, you can use as an ARNET node, and you can, instead of something happens, you can you can use the memory inside, because if it's not receiving ARNET from somewhere, you can send a sentence, quickly sentence from the backup, and put a, a, a scene or a queue list. No? So, this is uh, more or less what the, that the product does. Can you explain the uh, how all the bits are connected? How, so you have your your iPad connected. Well, this is but this is a battery. Okay, you don't okay, need but this. Is, but is, is it Bluetooth? It's Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. Okay. To a network. Okay. Here is oh. a network. Okay. And the network is connected okay. to the Arnet. Okay. To the Arnet input. Okay. And then you have the output. Right. Okay. This app. This app is not uh, is not uh, from us. It's from the market. You have also Lemur that I recommend by by myself because it's it's quite powerful, and we can do even scripting. For example, we can put with Lemur we can put two LM5s and control two different universes, and and even we can with one fader we can send different uh, commands. With this application, it's more limited, but it's much more easy to control. No? So depend on you. We also create. We also create some small apps, just OSC controllers, okay. for several cases. Like for example, these are 24 channels, no, 512 channels. But we also use another one for RGB uh, programming. We uh, and we are continually doing some silk, uh, some layouts for different applications. In the OSC part. The this, is this outputting OSC wirelessly to the light mouse? Yes. Okay. Why we, uh, we we insist that the DMX is not driving through Wi-Fi. Right. So in case there is any problem, any noise, any interference that 
don't let to send OSC commands, the line mouse will st still will transmit in the MX data because the processing is making inside the product. So in case of interference, you will see always some DMX, DMX frame going into the, the system. So if you want to, if you want to uh, make a show, just select the show, or select the cue list and play. And then you can change the speed, you have a grandmaster, you have a blackout, Okay, you can put all zero, you can put all full, you can stop here, you can put all full, all channels full, all channels zero. We have also, uh, well, I must play stop. We have also, uh, we developed this, this layout to just put a scene and go, this kind of thing. So these, these are all present scenes? Yeah, these are the, the, the internal scenes. We can store up to 100 scenes. One DMX universe in the house. This one is one universe. So, but we can put two and with Lemur we can control two different universes. Would they be linked in some way then or are they just quite receiving? Through Arnet, through the Arnet network. This is connected by Arnet, it's an Arnet node. So can go can go into the same network and then here you have you have uh, OSC01 IP, you can put another one, another IP address, and then it's done. So, could you control it via Arnet and through this at the same time or not? Uh, Arnet takes priority. Right. Okay. Uh, but in case of an Arnet problem, then we can. The, the main application of this is to replace all the small consoles like the typical 24 channels, 16 channels console, this kind. The small, the small ones that have from a, a device. Now it's an iPad, but you have also OSC application for Android coming. We have PC and Mac uh, some layout. And what we can do here is just replace this for a small bar. For example, we can put a layout for the barman or or on an iPhone that says RGB or SM1, SM2, SM3. And can you put a security code on it or something like that? We. We don't use this because I think it's okay if you put a Mac filter into the into the Wi-Fi router. No, that's to, to access the uh, yeah. yeah access yeah. the actual uh, pad itself. Can, can you lock the screen and have a, a, a it's like a pin number to? Yeah, we, we don't we don't take any action into the iPad because the application from the iPad is not from no there. Okay. Um, okay. So. So uh, it could be any OSC source then. Yes. Okay. And for example, this morning was a customer here that he he's, he has uh, uh, how to say uh, Quartz Composer, yeah. uh, and they have the Quartz Composer is a, an application for Mac uh, inside the in, built in, in the OS X that you can you can do actions uh, with input and output, and they control a, a gym, they send the videos, they send the audio. And now they, 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 they found this and they can also send the DMX all through the OSC uh, can, you capture, can you capture cues from an external source and record them and then trigger yes. them back, yeah? This for me is the most innovative uh, uh, part of the, of the product, that we can uh, capture an OSC command and that says that record this with this frame time, with this instant time, and then this is the DMX frame you must record in that place. Also the product has a, a configuration that in case of a, a power off or, or something like that, when wake ups, he start with one show you or one queue list or one queue, you, you set, set up it. first. And it, can you do, you do multiple controllers? So could you can't at the moment restrict it. You can't say, okay, the, the barman has access to this bit of it, yes. but the DJ has access to something else. With this, I mean, you have several pages. So you can you can you can make a layout for the barman, and you can make a different layout for the installer. But but but, but it all has to be off of this type of OSC interface. So for example, we, we couldn't have a, a wall button in the bar with four program triggers that is bar staff, and then be able to. This is, this, this is the thing we are working right now. This is the kind of the things we are working right now. So the general, very yeah. basic. And also we are putting a a, a clock inside. Now we in the in the in the in the PC and Mac apps you have a clock that 
you can say every week or every Tuesday at 11 o'clock do this, but we also are going to, because this is the first product of the family.